Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video and today is an exciting day guys. Forge has been implemented in testing in Multi-MC. Finally, okay, so Multi-MC can now reclaim its place as the best ultimate Minecraft launcher. Uh, we've been doing workarounds for a while and guys it just makes you realize how great Multi-MC is when you start to play with other launchers. And that's just a fact of observation man of doing it and I've tried a bunch of other launchers but multi mc is still reign supreme all right so right now it's in development okay and i'll bring you updates as they come but if you want to test it today then what you need to do is go into your settings okay and be sure that check for updates is on and that you choose the update channel to be development okay under update channel i'm in the multi mc uh, tab here in the edit instance window okay and then you want to apply that then you can check for the updates here and it'll show you that there is a new commit for enable forge install button for greater than 113 oh, oh so great so great so we'll download that update and let it post now you may want to create a separate multi mc app instance to do this if you want to to keep it separate from your main installs or whatever you could just create a new install a new multi mc and you know have it as multi mc forge or whatever the name doesn't matter but that's what i've done here then i renamed the exe to multi mc forge just so i have a separate if you don't know multi mc is a portable application you can have multiple copies of the application you can actually run it at the same time too but that keeps this one in the development channel uh and testing for forge okay so be sure if you have issues to report bugs and stuff like that and i'll show you how to do that as well but now when we right click and we choose create instance 115 anything above 113.2 and then as we go into the edit instance window we will see install forge is enabled oh that's so great install forge is enabled guys so uh, when you do so it'll pull down the list of the forge ones it shows you the recommended and it works just like it did before uh, now this is done because of some magic that a developer called Zekker Zayhard did. He created a thing called Forge Wrapper, and uh, along with Petrix, it was integrated into MultiMC. So it's wrapping the Forge installer and doing it in an acceptable way uh, for MultiMC to fully integrate it within it. So thanks so much to Zekker Zayhard. Oh man, you saved us, guy. And then, of course, Petrix for his excellent work on MultiMC. But you could go through and select whatever version. If you're uh, doing a new install, you know, you may want to test the newest versions or what have you. So you could just hit OK. And then when you launch, it will install Forge. It'll pull down everything that it needs, run the installer and all that kind of stuff, and put the files where they need to be. Just seamless, like it was. Uh, prior to 113.2 so it takes a little bit longer because the installer does some more stuff than it did in the past uh, but it's not too bad we can see we're moving along at a pretty good pace here uh, getting it 60 and 70 so while it's doing that let me show you that we can get mod packs as well so here's a 115 mod pack all the mods now if you don't know you want to go to the files section i'm on curse forge mod packs curse forge and you want to scroll down a bit till you see the file list right here then you want to click on it because you need to download the zip for it okay so once you do that you'll see the download button and just go ahead and download that to your disk now i've already done it and we can see we're getting a launch here with forge oh so nice so nice all right uh but i have this mod pack out on my disk under downloads and here it is and then once this launch finishes we'll install it uh, just to show you how it works and it works normally as you would expect uh, with the other multi mc stuff so let's finish this launch here okay guys so that's it and you can see we have forge 31.1.30 installed in multi mc no problem at all so there's our launch for that okay so let's do the mod pack quickly i uh, hear it works the same way as it did in the past thank goodness so so easy to do uh, but again this is in development so let us know if there's any issues with it uh, that you find all right so basically the easiest thing to do is just download that zip and just drag it right into your multi mc it'll bring up the import from zip window and then you can just hit okay 
and it'll go through and download, pull down all the files, extract the mod pack and all that kind of stuff. This is a little bit bigger mod pack. Uh, so take a minute. We'll see how long it takes, uh, but I may come back. Okay guys, so that's just finishing downloading the mods now. And there we go. There's the mod pack, all the mods for 115. So when we go to edit instance, we can see that the Forge version that it needed, 31.1.30 has been added and we can get a launch on that. Guys, perfect, perfect thing. All right, now let me uh, let you know that if you have an error, okay, when the error pops up, there's gonna be an upload button in that console window. All right, up here in the top right hand corner, I can't show it because I don't have an error right now, but just use that upload button and it'll upload it to a service called paste.ee, pasty, and you just copy the link and come on to the uh, MultiMC Discord. I'll leave a link in the description to the MultiMC page where you can get on the Discord. You can also get to it from inside the app somewhere, I think, in here. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, you can just hit support MultiMC on Patreon. It's a good thing to do because these guys have now done the work necessary to get us as modded players what we've been waiting for. So anyway, guys, uh, basically, like I said, uh, if you have some issues, come on the Discord and report them so that we can get all the kinks worked out. But thanks again so much to Zekard Zahard and to Petrix. Anyways, Scott Omato, thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.